We're mostly done with school today. The boys are out playing. Adam's doing something out in the yard. Tea going. We have some leftover pork from last night. We'll heat that up for lunch. And some leftover macaroni. And then I have this Rico's cheese that I've put in a container. I've been craving cheese fries. So I'm making those. So for the boys, I'll make some macaroni and they can have some of the pork. They like theirs with ketchup. And then you can have some fries if they want them. And then I'll give them some mixed fruit. And we'll all have some tea. Basically, scrounge around in the fridge lunch. Use up the leftovers. You're so sweaty. Is it good? You already ate all your fruit. So did you. Wow. Y'all got super sweaty. It's not even that hot outside. <laughs> Is it good? You getting oh it, Bubs? Oh my god. You got it? Good job. That's the best way to eat those. I'll never have to peel a kiwi again. Um, Tonight for dinner, we're making a rotisserie chicken. We're using a Cajun butter marinade. We injected some under the skin and then rubbed on the rest. We also squeezed on some lemon juice and let it marinate in the fridge. While our chicken was hanging out in the fridge, Adam got started on some three ingredient ice cream. So we have 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream, a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, and a small can of root beer. This is so easy to make. You just whip the cream until it thickens, then fold in your other ingredients and put it in the freezer for a few hours.
Did you give up playing with this? Yeah, I gave up. Instead, I'm making sandwiches out of them. They look like a pop Eloy. To go with our chicken, we combine some frozen broccoli and some cubed up potatoes. We just season these with some olive oil, salt and pepper, seasoned salt, onion powder, parsley, and minced garlic. We brown these in our pan with some butter until they started to get tender. Then we put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. We also melted some Velveeta cheese with some half and half to pour on top. This chicken turned out so delicious. The Amo air fryer oven with the rotisserie is still linked down below if you want to go check it out. What did you say about his plate? He got what? He got more chicken than me. <laughs> and there's the answer to the question. Daddy gave you the same amount, so nobody can say, why did he get more? Angus is over here licking his chops, so you oh, might want to put that chicken where you can't reach it. He got more. You know you can always have seconds if you want it. Yeah, Move your hand. Oh. I, I'm going to eat up all my food so I can have more food. Potatoes cream. and broccoli. Pickle. Sit on your butt, please. If it's ready. Um, Thank you. Killed a chicken. Who? Someone at the chicken Some factory. Why? Chicken factory does a chicken factory. <laughs> we could eat it. The it good? Yes, yeah, good. Of oh, course it is. Good. You made it. Duh. <laughs> you like stopping this good? Thank you, bud. Um, that's my one. Don't know. It looks amazing. Um, Puppies want some chicken fat. Get down. Get down. Sit. <laughs> Crosby's! Ah. Now Wally doesn't get one. I get her chicken though, huh? Was he good? That's all I got. All gone. All gone. Oh. Did you feed Angus? Why is he acting like he's starving? That's it, Crosby, get down. One $5 chicken. I mean, that'll make a bunch of chicken salad or something, right? A lot. Or money. dinner tomorrow, if you want. I'm going to eat those for lunch tomorrow. It tastes like a swan's root float ice cream pop. What? <laughs> That's the best ice cream you'll ever have. Do we want to give that secret away? I don't know. No, let's keep it as an old secret. <laughs> it's so good. I like home sent us this four in one blender. I was super excited to try this out because the bowl on our other one just broke.
So it comes with the main attachment that makes everything work. It seems very sturdy to me, a lot more heavy duty than our last one. It's got the main power button, a turbo button, and you can adjust the speed. One of the attachments it comes with is the immersion blender attachment, and I like how they snap on rather than twisting to lock. This also has the whisk attachment, It comes with a good size blending cup. This you can use for your immersion blender or the whisk. And it has the blender food processor cup. The lid twists to lock and the blade comes out for easy cleaning. When the boys saw we got this, the first thing they said they wanted was some smoothies. So I'm just gonna throw in some milk, a few bananas, some pineapple, and some kiwi I had in the freezer. This blender blended the smoothies so perfectly. They were so smooth and the boys loved them. What do you think? It's so good. Is it good? Did you try yours, Tuck? Is it sour because the kiwi? It tasted sour to me. So this is super easy to clean. A lot of the parts are dishwasher safe, but with things like this, I like to hand wash them just to get them a longer life. So if you're interested in checking out this 4-in-1 blender from Alec Homes, I'm going to have their link and all of the information down in the description box for you. So today was pretty uneventful, at least on your end. I got a lot done, but I forget to film stuff a lot of the times because I'm so busy. But that's just mom life and that's how it is. Sometimes I just do a lot of the same thing every day, so I'm sure you've seen it already. You can only watch someone clean their kitchen enough times before you get sick of it. But I hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.